Tengu230 here. Hope everyone's having a great day. So welcome to Moonlighter, where you play as somebody who runs a store and also Dungeon Delves. It's out today. Let's play about 15 to 20 minutes. Hopefully we get to see both. What? This is how I move with the L stick. It's also how I break things that aren't rocks. Alright, let's head to the next area. LT is a roll? Dodge? I can roll dodge across gaps? Oh wow. That's scary. I can roll past enemies? Or sneak past them? I can also roll... Can I roll through? It looks like I have to roll through. Okay, everything seems pretty precise. What do I have? A a broom? That's awesome. Ah, yes. I was wondering if I could line them all up. What, why, what am I acquiring? Potions? It's health. RT. RT seems like... Oh, okay. I have four on the top right. Potions to restore my health. And RT is to use it. What is this? Nothing. X. It's a charge attack. It's like a it's a lunge. I can also move as I'm doing it. What? I don't understand what's here. A broken sword. Put it in the backpack. Wait, there's three? Can I just combine them? <laughs> Restack them, I guess? Hardened steel and a water lamp. Cool. There isn't any diagonal attacks. What is this that I just found out? More hardened steel. Can I stack this? Oh, I can. Okay. Um, there. Oh, I, I can only stack it in fives. Foundry. Rests? What is that? Oh god, now use everything that you've learned. Oh my god! This just got a little difficult. I feel like I'm going to die. This guy's hitting me with a water gun. I think I'm supposed to die here. 
Like seriously, this is like way too many enemies. It's showing me. Damn, that was a lot of that was a lot of enemies. Lost all my stuff. Xenon. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. I realize that is my patented old man voice. Can't do anything else with that voice. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. Notes and everything. There is no doubt, you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Ooh, sword and shield that's floating to my very bed. Now then, get up! You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. to put on my slippers. Are those slippers? I cannot access the chest anyway. Time to run the shop. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop and allow the customers in. I have... It is a little bit like Reseteer. Hold to open shop. Welcome! Wow, people were waiting already. Would you like a... She, she likes that! Yes! Sell! Oh, I will sell. Sorry, it's taking so long. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. A happy smiley face. The item wasn't too expensive for them, but not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. <sighs> what do you want, mister? He doesn't like it. I'm thinking... Ah, oh, too expensive. I don't think I need to tell you what that... Or how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. You have gathered undiscovered wares and artifacts. Why? Not why, I'm just pressing Y. Crystallized energy. What seemed the sun has fallen for the day? Already? I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory? 
That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Yes, sir. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Ooh, pretty. I really like the pixel art style in this game, man. Hiya! How do I block a? Can go people's houses? Nope. Can I talk to people? I sort of always wanted to become a merchant, but I could never find a pendant. Most pendants used today were found when the dungeons were first discovered. Since then, finding a new one has become nearly impossible. The music is awesome too. Where's the dungeons? Is there a map? I need a map. Okay, just remembering this is my shop. Ooh, can I cut this? Nope. Ooh, that looks like dungeon. Dungeons to the right. Got taken in. Ooh, wow, it's awesome that you can see the clouds. Where was I? Not there. Golem dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants. And whoa, okay. Closing on me. This is closed. Forest dungeon. Dungeon available. Not recommended for merchants. This is the only one that's open. Alright, we're gonna head in here one more time, see how, how far we get. And then... We shall. Or I shall. End the... Episode. Golem dungeon! So... Aha! Oh, there is a sideways, I think. This item have durability. Oh, B is the pendant, okay. Just want- oh, I don't like you. Oh, you- you- you attack. Awesome! Okay. I understand why this game needs to be played on hard, even though this technically is the medium setting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't like this. Ah! Take care of you first. <laughs> Sweet. Where am I going? Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, roll. Oh, this is like a tr treasure area or something. What happens if I accidentally fall in? Read. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled, one of which is this map? Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right? They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Or are they what they seem? Big boss gon' kill me? I was supposed to let them all out. I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. What the hell? Oh. So bottom left is the one I'm on. So there's keys to each one and then we go in the middle. Oh, look at all this crap. What does that mean? B, okay, B, and then I can go back. Oh, I have to collect stuff to use it? How do I... 
How do I tell if it's full or not? Oh, not yet. They want me to hold it. Oh. Wait, am I just stuck here now? I have 200. Ah, okay, I guess I can use it. Let's go back. I right, jellied up. Escaped with pendant. This is the items I got. Go back to town. Those are the things I fought. I didn't get any treasures, it looks like, though. Oh, yeah, how do I save? Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. If I didn't learn to use that pendant properly, it's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You... you found old Pete? Dead? See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Gollum dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Renoka. Nice indeed. Why is not the why is the soundtrack not available to this game? It's like I do not see it on Steam. And it's awesome. Investments. Town shop. Town. The wooden hat. How much do I have? 100. Ooh, nice. So I can get to build the town. Shop. Items sold in this will have a 75% discount. Oh, this is for my shop. Okay. Iron cash register. Oh, cool. Extra tip. Extra space for my items. I can't purchase any of this stuff yet. Oh, I can just flip through it. LTRT. Cool. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna end the episode of Moonlighter here. Hopefully you guys got a taste of it. Go to the dungeon, get some stuff, sell the stuff, get a profit, make some money, keep going back in dungeons, going deeper, deeper inside till you get like greater treasures and fight monsters. So, also, you can build the town, which is pretty cool. The music's awesome. The pixel art is sweet. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little taste of Moonlighter. So, that's going to be it for this episode. And if you have made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and take it to 30 out. All right, Charles. Game on, everybody. And please, keep smiling. More God of War on the way. <laughs>